Hey guys! Hello! So I probably don't even need to say this because it's gonna say it in the title, but if you're seeing this video right now, it means that we had the baby! Woo! Yay! <laughs> it's weird filming this, so I'm filming this a couple weeks in advance, hopefully a couple weeks in advance. <laughs> hopefully it's not like later tonight. Filming this a couple weeks in advance, but it feels weird because I know that when this posts, like, we're gonna be new parents and also I'm probably gonna feel terrible. Terrible? Yeah. Like happy mm -hmm. and excited, but like... Physically? Physically destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. I've been mentally preparing myself for nine months. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. We're ready. So I still got the preg egg. It's 18 days. 18 days. 18 days, give or take. It could be could be a week after that. I think they let it you is. go like two weeks after that. Hopefully not, because I'm gonna be having had it at that point. But basically wanted to come on, tell you that big news that you've all been waiting for and that we've been waiting for. We're gonna tell you her name and then I'm gonna give you a nursery tour. And also to answer the question, everybody's asking, are you gonna film the birth? Uh, no, while I do appreciate all of the ladies who have posted birth vlogs on YouTube, because I've been watching a lot of them to mm -hmm again, mentally prepare myself. <laughs> it's just, it's not my thing. Don't want that on the internet forever of myself. We're gonna try and film and take photos, bits and pieces for our own memories. And I might put some of that into a future video where I show you guys the baby after I'm feeling better <laughs> from the whole birth experience. And I'll be answering your guys' questions during that video. But basically from this video until that video, when I come on and show you the baby and tell you about the birth story and share some of that, any content you see is pre-recorded. So I didn't just have the baby come home and start immediately filming. Like yeah. that's not gonna happen <laughs> physically or mentally. It's just not, it's not happening. So if you see anybody else confused <laughs> in the comments, let them know, point them to this video. Those are all pre-recorded. I've been trying to film ahead for weeks for you guys. You're welcome <laughs> <laughs> to fill in the time of me trying to rest and get used to being a mom, parents yeah. and healing my lady bits. <laughs> your body. <laughs> my body. Letting your body heal. Yeah, just body in general. So first we wanted to share the name because it's all over the nursery so you're gonna see it anyway and we're gonna be not really it's in one spot no two spots two spots well the one you can't really see all over the place <laughs> ceiling we put it on the wall the ceiling the floor we really want her to know her name yeah. <laughs> so her name is Melody. Melody. <laughs> and there is a backstory to why we picked that name. Mm -hmm. Bobby and I met through working at a music television company. So we were interns and we worked a lot of live musical concerts, TV, music, network shows. Yeah, Fuse TV is the name. I'm pretty sure it's still around. I know it's changed a lot since we've worked there. But basically we first met, we had a lot of the same musical tastes. So we bonded over that before we even started dating. So we thought it would be a cute callback to how we met if our first kid's name was music related. Yeah. So yes, her name is Melody. I'm not going to disclose her middle name because one, uh, we haven't fully 100% decided on it. We have like, we're between two. And two, uh, I don't think I wanna give her full name anyway. <laughs> I mean, the most important part is the first name, which is Melody. There you go, you're all welcome. You now know her name and we don't have to keep trying to hide it or make sure nobody says it. So yeah, uh, next I'm going to show you the nursery, which is not something I usually do on this channel, like room tours or anything. But one, I thought you guys would be really interested because people have been asking. And two, I put a lot of work into this nursery. Yes, yes. Lauren did a lot. It's very, very calming it, and peaceful and cute and... Yeah, the theme was Love happy, it. bright, yeah. colorful. <laughs> I don't know. So the theme is like sky. So there's a lot of stars, moons, so still goes with the galaxy, but then there's suns, clouds, and it's neutrals with pops of pastel. Yeah. Because I love pastels. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little nursery tour and kind of like show you all the little details that I picked out. And then I'll come back and just say a couple things at the end and yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. So this is the main wall of the nursery and it's definitely my favorite. It's also the first thing you see when you walk in, which is amazing. But I tried to make it as cute and bright and happy as possible. This is my nursing slash feeding area. And I just tried to make this super comfortable, be able to put my feet up and have a little table for a snack or a drink. Okay, so I love this. This is from my 2020 Dexter merch calendar, but I cut out each month and put it in the back of the frame so I can change them out to match the month or season. And Dexter gets to be a part of the room. And then on the other shelf is this super adorable pastel crochet unicorn that Bobby's mom made and this cute pastel abacus that I found. 
In the middle of the wall is the crib, which both mine and Bobby's parents split and gifted to us. The crib mobile is still missing and back ordered. The center wall print is from Minted and the other two wall prints are from Etsy. There's a blanket gifted from each grandma. The personalized one on the left was from my mom and it is seriously the softest thing ever. And the crochet one on the right was from Bobby's mom that she made to look like my baby blanket that I showed her a picture of. And because the baby's gonna be staying in our room for the first couple months, the crib right now just has some of the stuffed animals, blankets and pillows that we'll be using. The pastel caterpillar is another crochet animal that Bobby's mom made. This is a little cloud light that you can draw on, so I drew a little face. This is Melody's bookshelf, has a noise machine, baby monitor, humidifier, a baby book collection that was mainly gifted from friends and family, and then some other toys and gifts, like these unicorn instruments from my sister, and this custom puzzle Melody sign from my mom, and of course even more adorable pastel crochet animals from Bobby's mom. And that's basically this whole side of the room. There's some closets on this wall. And then going to the other side of the room, we have me, hi, and the dresser slash changing table area, and some of the baby's toy floor bats. And because this room was originally a guest room, over here we have this cute moon shelf and stars, but then we kept the bed because it was brand new, and we want to still be able to have people sleep here when they need to, and we could just keep the baby in our room. And then back on the other side past the bookshelf, this room actually came with a little kid bathroom. I'm still waiting on the wall decor to be delivered, but the theme's going to be underwater. Water, so there's gonna be lots of bubbles on the walls, cute little pastel sea animals, mermaids, still keeping with the gray and white with pops of pastel, and still having some whimsical vibes. Which by the way, how cute are these hooded baby bath towels and all these little baby products and this whale-shaped baby bathtub and accessories? Seriously, who am I? I never cared about baby stuff, ever. Oh, hello, it's me again. And Bobby has turned into a giant mommy bag, which was actually sent as a gift by Baby and Me Nursery. I'll link them in the description below if you wanna check them out, just as a thank you for sending me this. This is my hospital bag. I'm not gonna go through everything that's in it because that's not what type of channel this is. But I just wanted to show it because I thought it was cute. And yes, my shirt does say mama on it. I'm actually packing this into my hospital bag because it's so freaking comfortable. But yeah, I'm ready, guys. We're ready. Bobby and I are just kinda at the point where we're waiting around. Crazy. To think that it could be like days or it could be weeks. It's most likely gonna be a couple more weeks, especially being my first baby. But we wanted to make this video for you guys because you've been such a big part of our lives and our journeys and will continue to be. So we just wanted to share a little bit of personalness with you guys. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so much for being so supportive throughout this whole pregnancy. I was so nervous about putting out any pregnancy related content thinking that people would not care or think it was annoying, but you guys have loved it and supported me so much. So thank you so, so much. And like I mentioned, before. I'm hoping there's not a gap of content. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying to stay ahead with content, but depending how long it takes for her to get here and what happens in between then, I don't know at this point how much content I have saved up. Hopefully at least a couple weeks. If I need to take one more week off with no content, I will obviously do that. But all the content you will see has been pre-recorded before I had the baby. The first video back after having the baby, I anticipate being that video I mentioned where I'm going to show you guys the baby tell you guys a bit of the birth, like labor delivery story and show you some clips and photos. I will be putting out a Q&A so you guys can ask me any questions and I'll try to answer those at the end of that video. And then after that, we will be going back to normal content. Like I said, this is not turning into like a mom channel or a family vlog or a little kid channel. It is going to remain the same weird, funny gaming channel that you guys are used to. I just like sharing a bit of my personal life and this is a big, big change and part of my personal life. So I wanted to share with those of you who care. But yeah, I'm so excited to meet her. Bobby's so excited to meet her. Dexter's so excited to meet her. I know you guys are excited to meet her and I can't wait for you guys to meet her. And in the meantime, if you want to get updates of what's going on around the birth and the recovery afterwards, then make sure you try to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or even just check my YouTube stories or community tab. I will be trying to keep you guys updated there because that's easier for me to do than sit down and make a video after I just had a baby. Love you guys, appreciate you more than you will ever know. And the next time you see one of these very personal videos, I will be a very tired, most likely hurting, but a very much excited and happy new mom, which is crazy. <laughs> and until then, past Lauren will entertain you guys with the pre-recorded content until I can see you guys soon.